Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Duke Phineas II, the Drunkard of Semyon. Alright, so we're gonna go through our council here. Um, I'm really starting to not like this this 10 diploma diplomacy skill Chancellor, but he's unfortunately fairly powerful and uh, I can't give him a title otherwise. I could make him, I can't, I don't, I don't think, yeah, he's, he's landed as a count, so I can't make him into my bishop, my court chaplain. He needs to be a priestly type person. However, there is a better guy available, 19 learning. Let's go ahead and appoint him over this landed character. Um, just because I want better cultural tech spread rate in our capital. And our spy master, he's not a powerful guy, he does like us. I think he's decent enough. This guy, definitely want to make into my steward, especially over the non-important uh, non vassal. And we're going to collect taxes and axum. Happy with this, you're an axum to train troops. Really the only person I'm not happy with now is the chancellor. And we have this no no truce here with uh, with our liege. Let's see what factions we can do. We have an independence faction. We should have put somebody else in charge. I mean, honestly, um, if we weren't in our realm, how much land would our liege have? We own all of this, so he would own all of that. Inside the kingdom of Abyssinia, you cannot usurp it. There are all these duchies. We own a fair bit of the land down here. I'm starting to think maybe we just go independent now. We've already just bested the Caliph. So perhaps we should just declare independence. He's got no allies, no one that he can call in, and he's only got two and a half thousand troops. And he hates us. We have no claims on his land. And all we have is independence CB. <clears throat> and our guy's not likely to fabricate any other claims. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, let's just do it. It's time, it's time. I think we're ready. Let's go independent. It is time to set out on our trading expedition. Hopefully it will yield good profits. Let's see what happens. But also, let's uh, apparently go carousing. And let's also, you know, declare independence. I'm feeling f I'm feeling rather pugnacious right now with our, our recent victory over the Caliph. We want to chase down these armies before they can form up. 600 men there. We're going to try to go there. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of Emir Nizim II. Your steward asks what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship to Mizir, Emir Nizam II. So we've come way over here. This guy owns this province. He also owns... Alright, so it's this guy. Who, our liege, who before embracing, embracing Sunni had actually declared holy wars against for a while. We could bring him a dozen strong horses for the cost of 30 gold. A chest with quality cloth. A pouch of rare herbs. Or my courtesy shall be gift enough. We're going to go for the, the chest of quality cloth. I'm not going to go for the most expensive option every time. I just want to see what this event chain's all about for now. My hope is that uh, as he gets to... Let's see, he'll arrive on the 9th. Once we get here... Shoot, we won't be able to cut him off. It's hoping that he wouldn't try to reinforce. At dinner, you notice Amir Nizim II. His face is growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward, shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse him. I'm still trying to teach this barbarian civilized uh, manners. Chief Nagasi's opinion of us goes down. So that would be my vassal, who we are his heir right now. He's the guy who I just landed the tribe with, just some random dude. We don't really care about him too much. I don't care. Just disrespect his culture. <laughs> it's fine. He's a Sunni. We don't care about that crap. You're walking idly around the court of Emir Nizam II when you suddenly hear a discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the priests from your expedition engaging in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole venture. This must be stopped, piss off all the bishops. I will intervene with my charm and soothe the debaters, or these heathens need to see the error of their ways. Let's, let's use our gregarious trait and see what happens. We're always going to see what happens, obviously. After long hours negotiating and discussing possible terms of trade, you seem to have arrived at a mutual understanding. This will be a profitable agreement. Cool. Neato. We did end up scaring him away. Excellent. With the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period to come. So we spent, I think it was like, what, 150 gold? And then the, the temple, the bishops, gave us 70-some back. So, so far, I think we spent 75 gold, plus I spent 15 on the, the trade gift. 
So call it like 90 gold outlay, and we've gained 500 gold, 150 prestige. Semyon gets a trade route until 872. For 30 years, we get city tax plus 30, castle tax plus 20, and tribal tax plus 20. The prosperity of your county increases slightly. We get a trait, trader, giving, well, it's a, not a trait, but a modifier, plus two stewardship, and we get business contacts. Wow, that was a really profitable uh, thing to have done. Also, I want to see if this, uh, <laughs> we're getting double double credit for these, uh, this thing, one, this one as well. Business contacts is only on there once. Okay, so it's just the one, it's just the business focus that gives you, and I'm pretty sure that that, that uh, event chain probably came about from having the business focus. Uh, fraternizing with burghers and merchants seeking to unravel the enigmas of gold. Cool. That is awesome. That's a lot of money. Uh, we've just got an achievement. We're in business. Sweet. What was this achievement? Successfully established a trade route. Awesome. Your blank has brought in riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition, and he probably expects to be rewarded with a share of the wealth. We can give 104.5 gold to Chief Nagasi, who is our... Randomly appointed dude, who apparently is the one who made us go do it. 50% chance we become greedy. That is the third sin. We don't have any virtue there. We have the second, sixth, and fourth. Ash tax modifier plus 10 is pretty sexy. I mean, that would give us a lot of extra money. Stewardship plus 83%. Holy crap. We are solid. Uh. Uh. uh he was just doing his duty indeed. I've become greedy. I'm fine with this. I'm a greedy grunk man. A greedy, a greedy drunk man is what I said. I meant to say greedy drunk man. We're a Jew, for crying out loud. We're supposed to be greedy, right? Oh man, that was a stereotype. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Wag is doing well. Wag prospers. Semyon prospers. Nice. So apparently uh, that trade route has also raised our capital to flourishing. Wag up to level one. We are starting to see some serious growth here. Begemder is at prospering as well. So flourishing, man. That's solid. Plus 20% local tax modifier. We still do have that uh, sold off land of burgers penalty, but um, it's a shame that we didn't get these modifiers in Axum, where we have two holdings now and more provinces. But uh, it's okay. Semyon has some stuff here. To start, I mean, we have enough money, we could actually build a new holding. Hmm. Let's see. We have 14 stewardship, our wife has 18. Our heir is likely to have some issues with domain size. So we don't want to really upgrade anything outside of our primary duchies. We currently own the Duchy of Wag, which is two counties, and the Duchy of Semin, which is two counties. We also have Axum, Gondar. Gondar is a another double county, and then Axum was three. Ajura is a much better duchy with four holdings in it. So I'd say probably we want to hold on to Axum and Tajora, probably possibly get rid of Gondar? Oh man, I don't want to get rid of any of it. We'll just need to find a way to raise our stewardship. He is marching to there on the third. Scare him off and then march down and go and engage him. Uh, we're going to take you split in half. And we're gonna go gauge some armies here. You have arrived at the private rooms of Count at Doberhan. I love drinking with this man. Makes me very happy. We don't do anything naughty, don't worry. Our liege only holds the one county. Is that true? He has two provinces. He's got uh, the tribe as well. Let's go and begin sieging that if we can. Apparently that is the fastest route to march. That's rather surprising. Uh, let's actually combine our army up. I want to go for the ending this war as quickly as we can. Uh, good drinks and food, carousing, everything's fine or was until he threw a fit of rage. Let's go run from him! Ah, good old... Uh, <laughs> well, it's just like old times, right? Everyone remembers the first time we, uh... It's just every now and then he gets pissed, okay? I mean, we, we, we know how to deal with it. Just run from him. He's scary. He gets scary when he drinks. He throws things at us. 5.2 war score. We've captured the High Chief... Him. Who has no money. Now he is not worth war score. He does have 20 gold. I could do that thing where I send him money, 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 money until we, uh... 
Let's see. We would need to get him up to 145, so he would need to gain 125 gold. So that'd be like... Mm, 9 would be 135, so I could only gain like 10 gold by doing it. But I'd also get some opinion out of him. We just keep him in there for now. The problem is he's never going to make much money. Like this guy's income is only a ducat 84 a year, so he's never going to really pay us. Where are my boys? Where are my grandsons? Still do not understand why it appoints those guys. My grandson and my uh, my nephew, excuse me. My nephew, but also my heir. Love that 38% movement modifier. Pretty solid. Could be even better if we still had the uh, the war focus, but the trade route, man, that was that was worthwhile. I am happy about that. Looks like we're going to secure our independence with no real issue. We've ca captured Gautier the Wise. These were ten gold to our liege, our former liege rather. And we're going drinking. Young Theognasta often speaks in reverence of the wise women of old, saying she wants to be like them. She has a chance of becoming kind, or she gains erudite. That's fine. What a lovely child. Indeed. Let's play some, some games. He beat us this time. I, I just had too many drinks. I couldn't focus, that's all. Alright. I don't think we actually need too many pop-ups about that guy anymore. Now that we are no longer dealing with his contested territory. And uh, these Azim Dynasty members, I, I'm still interested in. We got a 14 year old, and then this guy, uh, his betrothed, my daughter's 13, so eventually they'll get married. Do we have anyone to betroth you to? We have a 40 year old here. Hmm. It's fine. You're not actually in my dynasty, so you don't really need the wife. I just kind of like looking after them, you know? They've helped us out in the past. Interesting that we can't call him to arms in our war. Apparently he doesn't, he just can't help out with independence, huh? Gotta use factions for that. We would have to do a, a faction independence revolt. Try to invite him to that. We are capped out on war score from battles. Just need to finish the siege here. Alright, let's end this war as quickly as we can, so we can get the, the truce timer ticking, and, you know, start doing what we want to do. Truces are expiring with High Chief Effa work. Well, I don't really care about that land. And we're going to have a truce with the Overlord, the Suzerain Overlord, so we're not going to be able to attack for anything inside this territory for a while. That is one of the drawbacks, is that um, I'm going to have to focus on maintaining my realm for a bit, and... Somehow, sneaking provinces from the Muslim holdings. Like, attacking a revolt would be nice. Holy wars would be rather dangerous, because the, the Muslims will all jump in. We'll have to fabricate some claims, or press ducal claims. That kind of thing. 79 war score, not bad. Um, a lot of these holdings would take a while to siege, so I'm not going to worry about it. Then again, trying to get some prisoners would be nice. We have a number of tribes we could go for. Remaining required troops is what? Eh, not much, just a few hundred. Alright, let's grab the two stack. Okay, we leave one behind. The other three are going to go to here. Here, and... Here. We're going to try to siege down those tribes. We'll see if it actually is necessary or not, or... I'm still going to end the war as soon as I possibly can. And again, I am slowing my sieges down by not having as much siege pressure from number of bodies, but... If we can siege down a tribe real quick and capture some prisoners, that would be pretty nice. As she's growing older, I can see that Nyala could use some guidance. Eh, yeah, it's become stress, whatever. No, Tay. I'm not going to join you in your plot to murder somebody. Stop asking me. I am not interested in murdering him. I don't know why the game thinks that I am. The 95 war score now. Now 
Now we have 100. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna end it now. We are free! We've survived the early game. Yay! Independent. There we are. We are Semyon of old. We have special title uh, actions available. Set crown focus. Yes, we are independent. We can we can do crown focus. Let's do crown focus in Axum, since that is uh that is where we have the majority of our holdings and 84.4 county tax income. Levies were raised too long. We have unlanded sons. We are independent. We have we have some goals. So first off, we want to become the king of Abyssinia. To do that, we need to usurp this. We need to basically conquer everything. So now we're waiting for this man to die, or for us to die, so our truce can end. Oh crap, King Caleb of Abyssinia is uh, not the same guy. This is the strong the strong boy that we had in our prison ages ago. When did your dad die? Omatose in bed, 19 January, 844. Four months ago. Damn it. Um, which means we now have a truce with you. So now we have to wait for our character to die. Damn it, damn it, four months, and now we get a freaking huge truce. Ten year truce for four months. Blech. Some people want him dead, though. Who specifically? Uh, let's see. I mean, we could we could bribe a few characters. Got a genius in here. We have a lot of people who want him dead right now. Let's spend some Jewish funding. <laughs> we are the Jews. We like to men spend money on murder. The four percent don't really appeal to me, but uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Sounds fun. All right, so our vassals. We've got a baron who's rather upset, dishonorable, negative 20 for raised levies. We're an infidel, known murderer. You own the Mosque of Axum, and you're the wrong religion. So you're saying that we should get you murdered, huh? Sounds like a plan. We're going to murder you first, I guess. Here are these infidels. We are stressed out. We're still drunk. Okay, Abyssinia, we have... I believe we have a truce with you. We do not. The Caliph did die. In May of eight, uh, 44, so just a month ago this guy died. I guess we should have kept him as special interest. Either that or change default me message settings so that we get more pop-ups about people. In general. Alright, so this guy is the guy we're trading with. So I'm thinking it'd probably be a bad idea to attack him. Especially with all the Muslims around, you know, there's a lot of Sunni going on. The main thing we need to do is we need to become Jewish, and then we need to go for the Jewish Jewish holy sites. So for now, let's just try to stay stable, and hope that we can become Jewish soon. Everyone at court loves your dog. Nice dog. He's a nice puppy. You have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone you everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there is a master of mint. Uh, master of the craft that you can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait portrait of you. We lose a little bit of money to gain prestige or debase the mints with less precious metals for profit. We're already greedy. 25% chance we become deceitful. That's the opposite of honest. We are not honest. Uh, we're a Jew. <laughs> this sounds horrible. I'm going to say it even if it's not true. We're Jew, so we're going to totally debase the currency. Damn it. We need money. 9,967 9, ducats in the bank. We're going to keep stockpiling because I'm not really sure what to expect with all these Sunnis. And we are independent for the first time. Obage of the Abyssinian Revolt has declared the Abyssinian Revolt War for count somebody's claim on Abyssinia on King Caleb of Abyssinia. So this guy who has a claim on... Well, he, he's just... He's a Solomon and he's trying to become the king. We offer to join your war. I want you to succeed, but no, I can't offer to join your war. Because if he succeeds, then we lose our truce timer with the current ruler. Of course, we'll go out drinking. We always drink. We love the drink. For me, uh, carousing equals drinking. Out of curiosity, how are we, how are we doing relative to uh, everyone else when it comes to money? Let's see. Independent states, gold. Semyon. We have more money than the Byzantines. That's right. We're Jews. <laughs> Hail the conquering Jews. Oh, I'm not a Jew. But still, I will be. My prisoner is complaining about his dark cell. 
Release him, he can pay me later. Um, do we want a favor with a lunatic who lives in our next door neighbor's land? Not really. Let's just let him rot. Stop trying to murder this guy. I did just bribe all those characters to murder a man who I am now not trying to murder, which is kind of silly. But hey, you know what? A little bit of money to grease the, uh, to grease the fingers of, of our, of our enemy's court seems good. Reveling and Krausing is over, and we are still stressed. While passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion that the man is indeed guilty. Condemning him might not be the wisest choice, as he is of noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might prove himself useful to you. Lose prestige? Gain a character who owes us a favor? Or gain some prestige? Eh, we'll take the prestige, whatever. I don't really want another random character who is my physite. A group of craftsmen. They're back. And she's growing older. My Azim Dynasty granddaughter. I don't want to become rivals with her. Eh, she could just learn on her own. We're just trying to make her into a Ethiopian Maphysite. Just whatever. Sentiko the Usurper, leader of the Abyssinian Revolt. Alright, so where is a there is another revolt now. He's facing two revolts. The Abyssinian Revolt War for Count Somebody's Claim and the Abyssinian League Independence Revolt. Sintiko the Usurper. So he's now trying to become independent. Well, you should have joined us earlier, you dummy. That would be good for me, because if he were to become independent, we would actually be able to use him in, in defensive wars and offensive wars. We are at that magical threshold of 2,000 prestige, so now we get plus 10 opinion with every character that's not religious in the game. So the only people, the only people that don't care about prestige are religious people. Notice in here how it says, um... State diplomacy, yes. I'm, okay, I'm mistaken. State diplomacy for everyone else. You don't care about prestige. If you were my direct vassal, you are my direct vassal. Am I just not pious? 242 piety. Infidel. I'm assuming because I'm the wrong religion relative to you. That's why we're not seeing it. We have piety plus 4. Notice how we have no modifier prestige with this guy. But for all the other guys, we get plus 10 from prestige. So it is a very useful number. Good drinks and food. It looks like... Uh, Atoberhan is on a on on the rile here. I must escape and hide. <laughs> Causing some issues. This guy's independent. Ish. No, it's this guy that owns it, damn it. A holy war. Would be good for us in the future if we were Jewish. God, I gotta stop being freaking my physite. Please tell me my heir is still Jewish. Stay Jewish. All of you, stay Jewish. Please. Alright. We're gonna get it. We're gonna come back soon. It's gonna happen. Yay, we died! Thank God! Like I said, it's gonna happen soon. You have a new heir. DeWitt Gideon is our heir. King Phineas has given up the ghost at age 62. He died of severe stress, ever temperate. He never let his base urges get the better of him. A godly man? He is with Jesus now. King Tenjin, always clad in glistening and splendid armor, Tenjin wants everyone to see him as he charges into battle. Long live King Tenjin, the Jew! Thank God we're Jewish again! Woo! Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode where everything's gonna be great! Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.